Hi there guys, welcome back to Seduce My Novellas. Uh, today I'm doing something a little different. It's kind of like a little series of what I'm incorporating every week and um, I'm going to call it Fangirl Fridays. So basically it's just going to be a chance to, over the last week, tell us what you fangirled about, like we tell you what we fangirled about, um, and I say fangirled, fangirled, fanboyed, fan, fan no gendered, you know, whatever you're, you, you're excited about that week. And um, yeah, and I'll have a chat about what I like and then you guys can leave stuff in the comments below so that we can um, reply back to you. So, um, really sorry about my voice, I've got quite an evil cold at the moment, so if I'm sniffing, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> I have tried to make it stop, but it's, uh, yeah, the snoot is sniffy. So, I have got uh, two series I found a fangirled about in the last week, and I say the last week, it's been the, like the last few weeks. But considering this is the first um, Fangirl Friday video, I figured I'm allowed. <laughs> so the first books are the <laughs> for the game trilogy. Hey, how many times have I mentioned this? Um, so that is the Foxhole Court, the Raven King, and the King's Men, and they are amazing. So I just ah. Oh. So the first one's Fear and Kindle. Um, I've done a review for it as well, which will be up soon. I've, well, I did a review for the whole series, which will be up soon. Just going to show you the first cover of the first book, which is Foxhole Court. So that's what it looks like there. Um, it's free on Kindle, like I just said, and the second two books are 99p each, so like, literally you can't go wrong there. Um, oh my god, <sighs> the characters in these books, it's just like, ah! It's like, ah, oh, squealing. I've got a WhatsApp chat going on at the moment with some other girls, and we just... I, I'm sorry to be Tumblr. We just literally can't even. <laughs> that is that is what it, what the point has gotten to. Um, there are some fantastic characters in there. Uh, Andrew is one of our favourites. Unfortunately, Queen Novella is not so keen on him, but she's not finished book three yet, so we will see. Um, the series is all about a a runaway who's had a really really shit past, and he's very good and very interested in this sport called Exe, which is kind of like a big mashup between ice hockey and lacrosse. It's violent and brilliant. Um, all the rules and regulations for the game have been really lovingly detailed, uh, written out in the book, so you can see it. There's a little section, separate section for it, um, and it's outstanding. Um, and horrible and wonderful all at the same time so the books have got some some hardcore issues in them child abuse um sexual abuse torture uh, homophobia you know there's lo there's loads in there um there are lgbt characters boom which is really really exciting and the main character just grows you watch him go from this shell of a boy who has spent the last eight years trying to survive to a man who knows what he wants, is going to take what he wants and is not afraid to fight for what he believes in. And it's amazing. The character progression is fantastic. So that was my first Fangirl Friday. Can't recommend it enough. Please pick it up so you can like um, Fangirl out with me in the comments below about it because it is amazing. Um, and the other series I've been Fangirling about this week is the raven cycle so they're these lovelies so if any of you guys haven't actually read the raven cycle yet it uh, consists of three books currently um they are the raven boys first one the dream thieves second one not the first one on the floor and the third one which is blue lily lily blue so um, they're amazing and the reason I'm so hyped about them at the moment, not just because they're outstanding books and I love them as a series, is that very, very soon we are getting book number four. It's called The Raven King, funnily enough. Foxhole Court, Doom is it. Um, oh. <laughs> so the books focus on uh, a young girl called Blue, um, awesome name to start with, who lives with her family of... I essentially, you'd essentially call them seers, I suppose. They do tarot and they predict events happening. Um, and it's all very real, very strange because like you're very used to seeing like mediums and the media and it's all just a big hoax, but in this book it is very real. And Blue, while having no kind of psychic abilities of her own, uh, 
actually increases the strength of others' abilities. So they often take her along for palm readings and um, uh, and to find out, you know, who in the village is is going to die, what deaths are coming this year. And and she meets these boys, uh, these raven boys, and she <laughs> she calls them the raven boys. She hates them, and they are, are the kind of posh upper class of the local boarding school. Um, and she hates them on site because they've got everything that she doesn't have. She lives in a tiny house with like five other people, you know, she works and she goes to school and these boys have got it so easy and they go to this wonderful privileged school and she hates them on site. Um, but through a kind of cause and effect, I suppose she does get to know the group of them. So that's Gainsey, Noah, Adam and Ronan. And each of these characters have got this massive backstory to them. They are all really, really well-developed characters. They are all there for a reason and it's not just a, oh, well, I'm here for this singular reason. They are there for multiple reasons. Uh, the books are outstanding. They will grip you and drag you in. I am currently rereading, um, I'm going to reread the whole lot. Um, and, oh god, <laughs> I can't wait for the Raven King to come out because it's just, the progression through the books is amazing and you will find yourself like, like popcorn at the cinema. You will not be able to put them down. Um, they really are that good. Uh, they are by Maggie Stifata, I think I said that right. And I meant to say as well, The, the Fox of Courts by Nora Sakovic. Um, both of these authors are on Tumblr, which, so I will link them below. And both of them tend to, well, more Nora. Nora's done a whole load of extra content, which I would recommend if you're going to read it, read the books first so you don't get spoiled or anything. And Maggie likes to reply. Um, people send her asks and uh, she's just kind of hilarious. I, I very much enjoy reading her replies to asks. Um, so recommend following both of them. So I'll link them down below. And um, yeah, so that's what I've been fangirling about this week. Uh, if you'd like to tell me what you've been fangirling or fanboying or fan agendering or fanning about, this week, uh, please do comment below, let me know, um, I will reply and we can have a cool little chat and yeah, if you like this video, thumbs up please and subscribe for more and as usual guys, thanks for watching, uh, we really appreciate all the subscribers we've got and we love you guys to bits, so thank you, bye!